Hey everyone, welcome back to Crave With Me. If you guys haven't already, remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel. So as you guys saw in the title, today we'll be making some Jamaican oxtail. I have my oxtail here. I had it cut up into good sized pieces. It's already been washed with lemon juice, salt, and vinegar. So make sure to wash your meat prior to cooking. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my fresh seasonings as well as my powdered seasonings. And as always, I will be putting the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below. All right, so here I have some red onions, some thyme, some red peppers, some scallion, Jamaican scallion. I have some scotch bonnet pepper here some pimento seeds and also some garlic so i've already cut everything up i'm going to add all these ingredients in the bowl just like that all right so now that we got the fresh seasonings in we're going to get started on adding our powdered seasonings so i'll be adding all-purpose seasoning and you want to add a good amount because you want to make sure that your pot is flavorful. Next, I'm going to be adding some um, another all-purpose seasoning. Some black pepper. Some granulated garlic. And also, we're going to add a little bit of paprika as well. Alright, and as you guys know, I love to use my um, this powder mixture that I have. So it's a blend of ginger, garlic, and pimento. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. This gives me a really nice flavor. We're gonna add some browning. I'm gonna add a good amount. All right, so you wanna make sure to give this a good mix so that all the ingredients are incorporated with one another. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a mix, get everything blended in. And we're gonna leave this to marinate overnight. The longer you have your, mar your meat marinating, the more flavorful the meat will be the next day. So sometimes you can even marinate it, leave it in the fridge for two days. The longer the better, but I'll be marinating this just for one day. All right, so as you guys can see, the meat is very well marinated or very well seasoned. Um, so as I said, I'm gonna be putting this in the fridge for 24 hours um, just to let it marinate, let all the ingredients and flavor soak in. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the cooking process. All right guys, here we have the oxtail that's been marinating overnight. It smells amazing. Um, so now we're gonna get ready to braise, AKA brown our oxtail in my Dutch pan. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you guys wanna make sure that you separate the oxtail and the fresh seasoning apart because you don't wanna fry these because then the vegetables will burn. All right guys, so we have the our Dutch pot here. To the pan. All right, guys. So it's been about five minutes. We're gonna turn our oxtail. Yeah, there you go. So that's what you guys want. That dark brown, um, crusted color. So I'm just gonna turn all of them now. All right, so we're gonna leave these to go ahead and brown on the on the opposite side, and then we'll be back to add in the other bag. All right, guys. So I emptied out the oil that we used to fry the oxtail. Believe me when I say it's flavor; it's not burnt. So when we add the oxtails and the water, and the gravy will sweep up all of this. So this is flavor right here. Do not clean this out unless you actually really do burn it. <laughs> Here's the oxtail. You see how it looks so good with the color now that we've browned it. So we're gonna add this to our pot. All right, guys. So I added some hot water to my to the bowl in which the seat, the oxtail was seasoned in. Now we're gonna add the hot water to the pot to get the oxtail to begin cooking down. Do not add cold water, guys. Make sure to add hot water. Hot water helps the meat tenderize. Cold water will make the meat tough. So I'm just gonna give this all a stir. The color it looks so good. You see. So like I said, with the bottom of here things from below are going to go into the gravy and that's what we want so that's why i told you guys is not to clean out the pot so we're just going to give this a little mix get everything incorporated 
I'm gonna add a little bit more water. You wanna add water like about halfway so that it can get the meat to continue to begin cooking. So I'm gonna put my stove on medium high heat or number five, I guess I should say five, between five and six. And we're just gonna allow the oxtail to begin cooking down. All right guys, so occasionally you do wanna check on your oxtail and make sure to give it a stir so that nothing is sticking to the bottom. So I'm just gonna check on it now. It's been about 15 minutes. So we're just gonna give it a mix. There's still a good amount of water in there, so I won't be adding any water as yet. I'm just gonna let this continue cooking and then we'll check back on it in another 10 to 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure it's time to add some water to the pot, so we're gonna check on it now. Alright, so I'm just going to test or check, I should say, the meat. Perfect. So you guys see that, how as soon as I cut through the knife, it's separated. That goes to show that the meat is tenderized and it's cooked. I'm going to quickly add in my fresh seasonings because I want to re-season the pot due to all the water that we added to the pot. And then we're just going to add our sauce and dinner's ready. Mmm, that tastes good. Right, so I'm going to add just some red onion, I'm just roughly chopping these in the pot. And next I'm adding some tomato, half a tomato. A few sprigs of thyme. So lastly I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add about two to three cloves and I'm just chopping them directly in the pot. Oh guys, also what we're going to add is a little bit more scallion, just a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to give this a mix. I'm just going to add a little bit more water because I do like my oxtail with a lot of gravy. And that should be enough. Hope you guys can see it. So now that the fresh seasonings are gonna are gonna cook down, I'm actually gonna add my butter beans. These are the butter beans I'll be using, the Jamaican Pride. I usually use Alaska ones, but the store that I went to, I chose to go to um, yesterday, didn't have, so I just went with these ones. All right guys, so here you have it, my delicious Jamaican oxtail. It's delicious, full of flavor, spicy, everything in one. Remember, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.